life, I will use to bring it destruction. Mantilia has usurped the power of the Arbor. All of you, focus on destroying the Phantom Flowers. I'll go for the body. <laughs> so much bark with so little bite. <laughs> this body was born of the art. Have some strong wind. Watch, careful. Just a little something. Think nothing. Thanks. Your good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. On my command. To victory! <laughs> Test. <laughs> 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 Try untangling yourselves from this. The weeds in my garden give me more grief. <laughs> Your arrogance betrays you. <laughs> That's better. A thousand thanks. S.A.S. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. <laughs> Time for the... Show no mercy. Zero points. Life finds a way. Good times, never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Too good to me. General of the Sea Angel, can your fit on Hong? You take it from here. Did you think it was over, Fantilia? Watching over the arbor. Stand still. Your answers? Good times. Never mind. time to say bye. Boom. Too good to me. Victory! Are we still 
hands to you, Fantilia. So much effort to crush us, and met with so little success. It's almost as if you can't wait to be acquainted with them. I'm afraid you won't have the chance. Time to run this. Oh, good times. No time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. A thousand thanks. Out of ideas, Fantilia! Yes, knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Zero points. Hmm. A thousand thanks. Fantilia, your scheme ends here. Vanquish the abomination. Good to me. <laughs> On my command. For the Sienjo! No wasting my time. Right. Time to end this. <laughs> Your answers? My indulgence. Your struggle in the face of certain death is touching. For my next trick, I shall turn each. The power of the destruction will eat away at your flesh and transform you into pawns of the great Nanook. Benefactors, behold this beautiful body. The miracles of abundance. Let's see if I can put it to good use. The very power that brought the Sienjo long life, I will use to bring it destruction. Ventilia has usurped the power of the Arbor. All of you, focus on destroying the Phantom Flowers. I'll go for the body. Stand still. Nap time. <laughs> so much bark with so little bite. <laughs> this body was born of the off. Have some strong wind. March, careful. On my command. Or the Sienjo. May as well kill them all. <laughs> Your answers? Answer me! 
<laughs> Naughty child. That's better. A thousand thanks. <clears throat> Try untangling yourselves from this. The weeds in my garden give me more grief. <laughs> Your arrogance betrays you. Show no mercy. Come in the net. Good times. Time to say bye. <laughs> Boom. For the Sienjo! <laughs> Is that it? I'm asking questions. Answer me. Yes. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Life finds a Time for a shot. <laughs> Thanks. You're too good to me. I am the vanguard of the hunt. <laughs> Crushing an ant with the weight of a star. How indulgent. The universe will end in destruction. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Not bad. Five points. Just. Free. Now, come <laughs> relax. General of the Sea Angel, get your feet. Gun Hong, you take it from here. Did you think it was over, Fantilia? <laughs> ah. Oh, a scion of permanent. Have you finally remembered your duty of watching over the arbor? Stand still. <laughs> Naughty child. Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. That's better. Thanks. A foregone You're conclusion. too good to me. Vanquish the abomination! Your answers? <laughs> Time for them. Show no mercy. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Not bad. Five points. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> Are we still ants to you, Fantilia? So much effort to crush us. And met with so little success. I wonder. It's almost as if you can't wait to be acquainted with them. I'm afraid you won't have the chance. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. SAS Perkippi. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. <clears throat> Out of ideas, Fantilia! Zero points! A thousand thanks. I'm asking questions. Answer me! Free. May as well kill them all. 
Zero points. Time to end this. Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. A thousand thanks. <laughs> Bacteria, your scheme ends here! Vanquish the abomination! <laughs> That'll take more than that. That's better. A thousand thanks. Is that Do answers? A test. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. Relax. <laughs> Show no mercy. The face of certain death is touching. Thanks. Time to end this. <laughs> For my next trick, I shall turn. The power of the destruction will eat away. Let's start with this arrogant Cien Junction. Transformation of the Sienger General into the Void Ranger would cast the law crew back into chaos. Destruction works in fascinating ways. What are you? was a body stolen on a whim. And you, how much longer can you last? The destruction of the Sienjo is nigh. <laughs> Be gone, power of destruction. Tell the Legion that the vengeance of the hunt will fall upon them. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> and it would seem the two of us can still coordinate our efforts. <sighs> Fantilia, a truly fearsome enemy. If she hadn't attempted to turn me into a pawn of destruction, <clears throat> Fantilia had established a link between me and herself. Her well-timed strike gravely injured her. Thus, her connection to the Arbor was severed. So it was all part of the plan? When Don Hung stabbed you, I was scared to death. <sighs> it takes more than that to destroy an emanator of destruction. Still... Fantilia won't be stirring up trouble anytime soon. Don't worry about her infecting the Arbor again. It's just that sealing the Stellaron is going to take some time. Leave that to the Master Diviner. Uh, General, keep those eyes open! 
Now's not the time to fall asleep. Uh, uh, hey, wake up! Is that a stain? I like this coat. The value of choice lies in unwavering resolve. Hiding out at the Divination Commission. That's a bold decision. She should be around here somewhere. <laughs> I knew you would come. eyes, the world would not appear as it does to you and I. There are myriad possibilities overlapping one another, representing the consequences of different choices, and in every passing moment, an infinite number of choices converge on the same point and become the present, and then become the past. So, was this your choice? To respond to my request for help? I do. Blade is in a prickly situation. On the Sienjo, you're the only one I can turn to. Being stricken with Mara is the inescapable destiny of the long life species. It is a madness triggered by the accumulation of emotions and memories. Blade doesn't remember much, but the Mara still haunts him in some form. After we arrived on the Sienjo, the Mara in him flared up so violently that even my spirit whisper couldn't suppress it. He's not fit for interstellar travel in this state. My plan is to use Spirit Whisper to temporarily seal the Mara by reducing its potency. I need to focus all my concentration 
so I'll be vulnerable for some time. I need you to protect me while I suppress Blade. I know when danger will come and what form it will take. Don't worry. Together we can do this. No harm will come to you. Now... There are wandering monsters nearby. They'll spell trouble if we let them hang around. Go take care of them. Your victory is certain. Does that hurt? Netmarker's activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Zero points. The human body is beautiful in its fragility. What does that hurt? Time to say bye. Boom. Answer me. Fail. No. Stand still. Netmarker's activated. Time for a good old counterattack. The human body is beautiful in its fragility. That felt like a time. It's good to open my eyes and see you back here. <laughs> Inevitably so. I've weakened Blade's senses to the outside world, so that he's only able to hear my voice and feel my touch. He's... I'm going to transfer his consciousness away from the Sienjo and cleanse his memories of Jingyuan, Jingliao, Insing, and your friend, Don Hong. Again, this process mustn't be interrupted. Yes, as compensation for helping me. You don't have any questions? I put you into a deep sleep and then reawakened you, abandoned you at the space station, then lured you to the Sienjo. I owe you an explanation or two. Don't you want to know? Oh, don't rush. We still have time. One rule, though. Please don't ask anything boring. Let's play Truth and Lies. It's a game I play with Silver Wolf all the time. Kinda psychological. Both sides ask each other two questions, then give one true answer and one false answer each. So, one of my answers will be true, the other will be false. As for which is which, that's up to the asker to make the call. We don't have much time. Let's do two rounds to start. You ask me two questions, and you'll also have to answer two of mine. But... Oh, that's not allowed. Ugh. The game only works when both sides follow the rules, and I'll be none the wiser if you break them. Let morality be your guide. But I give you my word. I will abide by the rule of one truth, one lie. I'll go first to give you a demo. Oh, don't be nervous. The first question is quite trivial. You can tell the truth, or tell a lie. It's the second question, where the game gets interesting. My first question is, 
What do you think about me? Huh? What do I think about Kavka? How should I answer? If I tell the truth, I have to lie the next time and vice versa. Or I could just cheat. Is that really an option? Better to tell it like it is. It's a pretty simple game, don't you think? <laughs> You're hiding your feelings well. Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to put our game of truth and lies on pause. The Cloud Knights are here. I need you to help me get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. This conflict is inevitable. See, the future always seems like infinite possibilities, but what is destined to happen will always happen. This I need to use the Spirit Whisper on Blade again, but let's play another round first. Have you thought of your question? The game continues. Your turn. So I get two questions, only one of which Kafka will answer truthfully but I won't know which answer is which. What should I ask? When I came to on the space station, I remember seeing Kafka, but everything before that is a blur. The Stellaron in question was modified. After seizing it, Herta conducted a lot of research. It's the only Stellaron in the universe that doesn't contaminate humans. As soon as Herta got bored, she forgot about the whole thing, but all her research was recorded in Skrulum's database. Silverwolf retrieved it when she hacked into planet Skrulum. And so Elio saw a new future possibility. <sighs> no matter what she says, she looks like she's got something up her sleeve. I can't tell what's true and what isn't. I see the look on your face. Don't bother asking. I can't tell you if an answer is true or not. Make your best guess and choose your next question based on my... The rules of this game are like reality. We all think we have infinite possibilities, but when you really analyze it, you could count them on your fingers. The future is like a labyrinth. Every divergence is merely an inducement. There is only one real path. No, but what is predetermined is the future that has value. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Soon we... The 
island. Who goes there? That was... The human body is beautiful in its fragility. The wind? Not bad. <clears throat> Netmarker's activated. Time for good old counter <clears throat> Time to say bye. Boom. Just fail. <laughs> Ready for another? Stand still. Answer me. Zero points. <laughs> Well, you're doing a great job. The future is still clear. The real test lies ahead. The young swordmaster of the Cloud Knights. Until then, let's continue our game. It's my turn again. <laughs> Second question. Do you want to see me again? What kind of question is that? Will we see each other again? As for whether I want to, seems obvious to me. I guess I do want to see her again. So, my answer is... What a surprise. I can't see through you. Mm, partly. For me, the truth, or lack thereof, is not what matters in this game. Well, it's your turn to ask a question. This is your last question. Surprise me. I don't know if Kafka was telling the truth in the previous question, but one thing's certain. For this question, she'll have to answer according to the rules. Should I venture into a whole new topic? Kafka wants me to surprise her. Let's try this on for size. Celeron hunters. The general was merciful enough to let you live, but you... Uh, uh, why are you here? Because she was struck by my spirit whisper. 
My powers of suggestion are capable of convincing people to accept my orders. Defeat this little boy and your mission is over. <sighs> you witch! Say bye. Boom. Relax. Answer me. Zero points. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Yeah, that's better. Ouch. You're all in on it. <laughs> Ready for another? Stand still. Netmarker's activated. Time for good old counterattack. Fail. Test. Punish evil. I'm just warming up. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Zero points. Mediocre. Relax. Time to say bye. Boom. It's me. Fail. Cut through the rents. That's better. Ready for another? Yeah. Stand still. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Zero points. Sword, heed me! Ouch! I'm okay. Freedom! Relax. Netmarker's activated. Time for a good old counterattack! Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Test! Zero points! Time to say bye. Boom! Stand still. I failed. If it weren't for you, that kid would have had me and Blade in the shackling prison in no time. Of course, Sam and Silver Wolf would have broken us out. But Blady would have been gravely injured, and our relationship with the Sienjo would have been damaged beyond repair. If possible, I'd like to avoid that kind of future at all costs. Can I leave now? Yes. The Mara in you is temporarily suppressed. So long as you avoid overstimulation and familiar faces, you shouldn't have a problem. Wait. You're not leaving? I am sorry, Kafka. There is a person, a person to whom I am greatly indebted. I must see them. Then it's in your hands. Elio didn't say anything about what happens next. Thank you for coming to my aid. I appreciate it. Our paths will cross again. Hmm. I remember you. You once followed Kafka, didn't you? There was a time when she was on a mission. You were next to her. I remember. I've yet to see anyone follow her for as long as you did, and live to tell the tale. Hmm. Every Stellaron hunter has a deal with Elio. I do not know the nature of those deals, but I do know that Kafka and I agreed to take orders from Elio. She must have sought something extraordinary. Everything she does comes at a great cost. She will have done many things to keep you alive until now, young one. 